Hello, hello, and welcome back to the channel. As most of you know, I'm Topher. And for those of you who don't know and just randomly decided to click on my video, welcome to the channel. I'm Topher. Thank you for stopping by. So we're here to do a reaction, and we're diving into a new series on the channel, a reality series. I don't think we've do dove into any of those, uh, but I've had a number of people recommend to me that I should look into his man. I think it's Korea's first gay dating show, um, and I've I've been interested since the first season. We're already on season two, and people are like, hey, you gotta react to season two, you gotta react to season two. I'm like, hey, y'all, I haven't reacted to season one. Granted, I don't think that the two things are necessarily connected. I feel like it's like history series where I could watch one or the other. I can watch it out of order. They're not really technically all that interconnected, but you know what? I There's the part of me that just wants to watch things in order. So we're gonna start with season one, episode one, and just see what happens what kind of shenanigans we're going to get into on this series uh full reactions and early access to these and many other reactions will be available over on patreon link will be down in the description um and yeah let's just dive on in okay how so <laughs> me. My ideal man is someone who is taller than me. Or shorter than me. Or the exact same height as me. A man. Okay. <laughs> I don't know some of those people, but I'm assuming that they're very handsome. Child, not the love triangles. I mean, if, I imagine if you managed to win, you wouldn't be on this show right now looking for love, so... No, oh, he's precious. I love him, he's my favorite so far. I love him. I know nobody's name, but I love him. I'm just gonna call him Sweater for right now. He does have adorable ears. Y'all know I have a thing for ears. He's still my favorite. Sunyul? <laughs> I am. <laughs> yes. For some reason, on this hot ass summer day, y'all decide to wear full coats. Aw, he's precious. <laughs> I mean, all all of your, all of y'all are. <laughs> y'all aren't exactly the most melanated bunch, so yes. <laughs> They're precious. I like them. I like them together. <laughs> it's been thirty seconds, and Topher's already made a ship. <laughs> He said, I like a, a rugged man. And he's like, well, you know, I like a soft, pretty man. So this could work. I like man. Rugged, soft, and pretty. Don't care. <laughs> Please let them be rooming together. Is there a single room? There's a single room, then that would be 321. Okay. Aww. 
I wanted them in the double, but that's okay. I mean, that's nice, but I've already shipped you with someone else, baby. I think so too, but he might be taking a fancy to somebody else, and I don't like it. Well, he's, he's cooking. I mean, it's like six ingredients. It's not all that much. Most of them are spices. I love you. He is all kinds of tatted. I, I'm here for it. <laughs> no, he ain't the one for me. We, we, we ain't camping. Sorry, babe. We can camp in the bed while watching something on TV. But. I'm assuming you washed your hands before you started cooking because you were doing a lot of manhandling on this food. So you got him sleeping on the floor, but you're not going to share those two excess pillows on the other side of the bed? You're just going to have him sleep on the floor with no, no pillows? Rude. Rude and disrespectful. <laughs> oh, poor baby. Oh, girl, he is. <laughs> he is like, It better be soon, y'all. Okay, you got like seven seconds left. <laughs> yeah, I can't recognize your voice either, but baby, you gotta... Okay. Okay, that's fine, I suppose. I could say, girl, you spent like 45 seconds just breathing into the phone. Like. I mean, 30 seconds is enough. I mean, you can make the call and then just breathe for 30 seconds and then it'll get hung up. You'd be like the last guy. No. Maybe. Although, I feel like it would be fairly obvious that it was you since you just left the room. I feel like they all should have been in different places in the house and sent to make the phone calls. Oh lord, y'all better share this bed when I confess my feelings to you. <laughs> I was like, do I have to pick it up? Yes, girl! <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> like, I know who I'm calling. Did he make two phone calls? Or is this his text that it's his turn? Okay, no, he called. Okay. You better be popular. I mean, let's not get carried when his heart has been less than 24 hours. Let's calm down. It might be. He seems to be the popular choice. I feel like they've had some nice conversation today, but it might have been just very friendship. Why are you whispering so sensual? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna just turn this bitch off. <laughs> no more calls tonight. <laughs> Honestly, at this point, if I were that one, when it was my turn to call, I would call him just, just to irritate him. <laughs> Chung Min, I imagine. Oh, okay, okay. Someone in a different room. Smart. So he doesn't have to deal with the embarrassment of being in the same room. But why? Everyone did. I mean, at this point, it, I would it wouldn't even be about my feelings. It would just be a practical joke. <laughs> We're just gonna blow up Chung Min's phone. Girl, what do you mean you want? There's only one person running around this house calling everybody senior. What do you mean you're wondering who it was? <laughs> mhm. Mm you, you got lots of options. <laughs> Not necessarily yet. Again, it's very early. It's very early to be out here talking about I got feelings for this person. No, that is not where you end the episode. Rude, rude and disrespectful. Okay. Well, A, that was a terribly rude place to end the episode. I'm very upset. I want to know who Chang Min called, and right now it is almost 4 o'clock in the morning. Where's the hurricane? It seems to have stopped raining at this point, so either the hurricane is out of reach of me right now, or I'm in the eye of the storm and about to get, get to sucked up. I don't know. Um, but... Yes, I would love to watch another episode, but I, I, I cannot right now. I need to go to bed so I can wake up and do other things tomorrow. But this is a cute little show. I don't know. Like right now, as far as gay dating shows or just dating shows in general, um, dating reality shows, it feels very drama free or drama light at the moment. I don't know if we're going to keep that sort of atmosphere um, because I this is my first time watching a Korean reality TV show. So like I know here in the States, we love drama. We live, we thrive off of that stuff when it comes to reality TV. Um, but whenever I've watched other series from other countries like Great British Bake Off, I've said it so many times that it's like the most delightful cooking show I've ever seen in my life, most delightful reality TV show I've ever seen in my life. Everyone on that show, all the contestants are so positive and so sweet and so kind and caring and they just genuinely just care about each other and it's just absolutely de delightful, not even the slightest bit of drama. Um, so I don't know what the Korean standard for reality TV is, so I don't know if we're going to stay in this sort of drama light, drama free environment, or if we're going to cross into some messy gay drama territory shenanigans later down in the season. I don't know. But for right now, it's very cute. Um, 
And I'm interested to see what the rest of the rules are. I don't remember how many house rules there were, but we were introduced to four of them, I think. I know one, no name or no ages and jobs. I know three, we can't change roommates and four, you have to make the call. I don't remember if they introduced rule number two. If they did, I can't remember what it was. Um, but so we've introduced either three or four rules, but I wanted to say they were like five or six. I don't I don't remember. Um, but I'm interested to whatever the rest of the house rules are, if there are any others. And I'm interested to just see how, like what, what the landscape of this dating is going to be. Um, Because right now, this is just a very introductory episode, getting to know each other. Yes, we set you up on dates randomly based off what cards you picked, and then we've just introduced you to the house, and we've split you up into rooms, so now you've got roommates. But I'm interested to see how they take the dating in this series. Um, If it's going to be a big, planned, orchestrated event, if it's going to be just kind of chill stuff around the house, are there, are there going to be competitions for dating opportunities or for prizes and this, that, the other? I don't know. I'm very intrigued. But Chung Min is very popular, very, very popular. And I feel like in the beginning of the episode, when I was first introduced to the characters versus the end of the episode, like the first, first introductions, there was... Um, what was his name? What was my sweet boy's name? Um, Chung Yu. I only know that because I've got the roommates' names paused here so I can see, <laughs> I, re- I can reference them. But Chung Yu, absolutely precious, and I just want to hug him. And throughout the whole episode, that has not changed. I want to hug, especially after he had to make his phone call and he made it to Chung Min and he had to return to the, the bedroom, like, I'm done, and pull like covers over his head. Like, I just want to hug him. He's precious. Um, I loved the idea of Yun Chan and Sun Yol together just because their first date of the three pairs felt like the most successful. Like the yes, they may have been a little nervous at first, but their conversation flowed really nicely. And when you could see Yun Chan's ears getting all red because he was nervous, it's adorable. Um and then I didn't feel so much like I didn't feel so much of the romance between Chung Yun and um, Jung Hyun during their first date. And I got a little bit from um, Hyuk Jun and Chung Min, but not an abundance. I really just got that nice, deep romance feeling from um, Yun Chan and Sun Yul. But apparently they had other feelings. Apparently they both... Um, <laughs> Once they got back to the house and started to meet the other guys, they both had interests in Hyuk Jun. Um, because, well, Yun Chan called him, and Sun Yol was like, I thought about calling him or Chung Min, but, you know, I went with Chung Min. But, you know, they both kind of gravitated towards Hyuk Jun, and I'm like, okay, he's a great choice. You're all great choices. So I'm curious to see how that goes. I'm curious to see who Chung Min ends up calling. If I were Jung Hyun, well, he, he Jung Hyun even said, like, I wanted to call Chung Min, but we're in the same room and I don't want him to know my feelings just yet. So I called someone else. It's like, okay, so that's a fourth person who was going to call Chung Min. Chung Min is very, very popular um, in this household. Of the six men, one is himself. Three called him. Four were, go- four were gonna call him. So basically there's only one person who did not have in any way, shape or form an idea to call Chung Min um, right now. So Chung Min is doing pretty well in this house, I'll say. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm very interested. I'm very interested to dive more into this. Um, I don't know when I'll get into the next episode. Um, yeah, I don't know how frequently I'll be posting this to YouTube just because right now the, my YouTube schedule is kind of full with other things that I've already got planned. But if I watch the episodes in my free time, I'll post them to Patreon and they'll be sitting on Patreon until I make them public over on YouTube. But if you again, if you guys want early access, you can join us over on Patreon and you can watch them to your heart's content. But I enjoyed this. I'm excited to watch more. I hope you guys, thank you guys for the suggestion. I can't wait to see how this turns out and dive into season two. But I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, turn on notifications to be notified when all of my shenanigans get posted. If there's anything else you'd like me to react to, be sure to leave it down in the comments. I'll get to it as soon.
soon as I possibly can. If you'd like to support the channel in other ways, you're more than welcome to join us over on Patreon. You don't have to, but you're more than welcome to if you want to. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Love ya. Mwah.